Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now for, for this week I thought I'd do something a little different and that is to show my collection of another successful 60s band, Jerry and the Pacemakers. Now before I get started I just want to uh, remind you all that I'm running a Q&A on this channel and I'll be reading out the answers to any questions I get next Friday which will be the 4th of November. So if you do have any questions for me, if you can go and find my Q&A video, in fact I'll leave a link in the description to that video. If you've got any questions for me, just feel free to drop them in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer them. But if you do have any questions, please just try and get them in before Friday. Alright? Anyway, so on with today's video. So Jerry and the Pacemakers were a 60s band also from Liverpool, so same place the Beatles were from and they were a big part of the Mersey beat and to be honest they were only around for sort of three or four years I think it was sort of 1963 to 1966 was pretty much their run in the music industry but in that time I think they produced some amazing stuff and I'm sure you'll recognize a lot of the singles when I come to show them because they had some big hits but anyway as far as the albums went they didn't have many they only had two or three albums but this is their debut album it's called How Do You Like It I really like the cover of this. There's Jerry Marsden there, the lead singer, and there's the, the other three members of the band. And here is the back of the cover. This is the mono edition. And just the same as the Beatles albums were, this was printed and made by Gowden Loft House Limited. And here is the track listing. And the uh, their famous single, You'll Never Walk Alone, is on this album, and that's a fantastic song. And overall, this is a fantastic album, really. It's got some rock and roll on there and some other stuff. Brilliant, brilliant album. And this is on the Columbia label. And as you can see, it's set out very similarly to the Beatles labels, just obviously a different, different uh, record label. This is Columbia, not Parlophone. And this album came out in 1963. Here's the other side. And next is a stereo copy of the same album. Uh, it's slightly harder to find in stereo because in 1963 not too many people will have had stereo units. They'll have all uh, bought the mono. So it's the same deal with the Beatles albums really. The stereo copies are usually hard to find. And it's not in quite as good a condition as a mono copy, but I'm just pleased to have one. It's got an old record shop sticker on there from South Shields. And this has a different catalogue number. This is SCX3492, whereas the mono was 33SX1546. And here's the stereo label. As you can see, it's identical to that of the mono, just with stereo in the top right corner there. And this side too. It sounds surprisingly good in stereo, actually. Now, the year after that album was released, the, the Jerry and the Pacemakers made a movie. And that movie was called Ferry Cross the Mersey. And their second album is the soundtrack to that film. And here it is. If you can get a copy of the film, it's actually really good. I mean, it's it's just silly, really. It's a little bit like the Beatles' A Hard Day's Night film, just without all the whole Beatlemania stuff, of course. But, you know, it's, it's just a, a funny film. Really pleasant to watch. But anyway, in the film... They had a few guests, it wasn't just Jerry and the Pacemakers. They had Scylla Black and The Foremost. And they do some good tracks on the album as well. Here's the back, with all the tracks on. And honestly, I like this soundtrack just as much as I like the first album. They're both absolutely terrific albums. And the singles from this album were Ferry Cross the Mersey, which was a big hit, and that is a fantastic song. And also... It's going to be alright, the very first track. They were Jerry and the Pacemakers 
uh, singles from this album, both of which are fantastic. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, as you can see, there, there was another guest in uh, this film by, by the name of Jimmy Savile, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll not go there. <laughs> Fortunately, he doesn't get any songs on the LP. And here is the label. Sorry, this is actually 1965 this film came out. I made a mistake there. So 1965 this album came out. Still on the Columbia label. And of course, Brian Epstein was the manager of many, many Merseyside acts. Obviously the Beatles, but also Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Foremost and Silla Black. So, he was, an, he, he was the manager for a lot of brilliant and successful acts. One last thing I should mention about this album actually is that what really impresses me actually is that all of the songs that Jerry and the Pacemakers sing on this LP are actually original songs written by Jerry Marsden. You can see all the writing, you can see all the writing credits for Marsden. So he wrote all of the Jerry and the Pacemaker songs for this LP, and that is actually very good because not not too many bands wrote all of their own songs in this period of time. Obviously, people like the Beatles wrote a lot of their tracks, but not everyone did. And this is a stereo copy of the Ferry Cross the Mersey soundtrack. Now the cover for this LP isn't in the, the best condition. However, this is extremely difficult to get in stereo. It was only fairly recently I actually managed to find a stereo copy of this on eBay. But it, it took me a long time, so obviously not many people bought it in stereo. And here is the label again. And it's the same deal with the first album in that it's exactly the same, apart from the stereo designation at the top. It has somebody's initials on the label there, unfortunately, but that's not the end of the world. And there's side two. One thing that's interesting is there are actually some differences in the songs between the mono and the stereo mixes, a bit like with some of the Beatles tracks. And... Off the top of my head, with the first song, it's going to be alright. It has a much, much shorter intro on the stereo version. Because it's got kind of guitar playing for about 20 seconds on the mono version before it kicks in with the vocals. But on the stereo version, it's only about 5 seconds. And also, on side 2, track 1, this thing called Love, is Jerry Martin's voice is double tracked on the stereo version, but only single tracked on the LP. Sorry, on the mono version. And finally, on Ferry Cross the Mersey, there's some extra drumming, or tapping it might even be. I think it's drumming at the beginning of the title track, whereas on the mono, there isn't. So, it was interesting to hear those differences. Now, this here is actually a live album, but it's not from the 60s. This is a 70s or 80s release. Jerry and the Pacemakers Ferry Cross the Mersey. In fact, this is from 1983, so early 80s release. And it's actually a surprisingly enjoyable live album. Now, what's really interesting is that they don't do just Jerry and the Pacemakers material. They do all sorts of stuff. They do Billy Joel, It's Still Rock and Roll to Me, and Just The Way You Are. And they do Lindisfarne with Running Man, which is uh, it is actually Run For Home, Lindisfarne. But they call it Running Man for some reason. And they do have a good version of that. And he does Unchained Melody. And as you can see, there are some... Jerry and the Pacemaker songs on there too. But honestly, it's a it's actually a very, very nice live album. And it's it, it's good as well because between the songs I have a bit of banter going on and that's really funny. And this is on the Breakaway record label. Rather than Columbia. Now the fourth and final Jerry and the Pacemakers LP I have to show here. The reason I put it after this 80s uh, live album, even though it's actually a 60s album, is because it was never released in the UK. Now this is Jerry and the Pacemakers third album called Jerry and the Pacemakers Today. But interestingly it was only released in the US and Canada but not in the UK. So Ferry Cross the Mersey was the last UK album to get but 
if you can get a copy of his third album, then you've got the full collection, if you like. But anyway, it was, it was it was just shelved in the UK for some reason. I think you can read on the internet the full history of it, but this is it anyway. Now this copy here is actually still in its original shrink wrap, if you can see there. And it has a price sticker on. Wolco, I think that is. This is actually a Canadian copy of the album. You can get US ones as well, but this is a Canadian copy that I've got. And there's the back. Haven't been in its shrink wrap all this time. It's obviously really nice and white because it hasn't been exposed to dust. But you can see that the small amount of the cover that has been exposed to the elements has gone really brown, but the rest of it's still nice and white, as it would have been when it was first released. And this is a mono copy, but you can also get it in stereo. And here are the tracks on the album. Now, I've got to say, this album is nowhere near as good as their first two albums, How Do You Like It and Ferry Cross the Mersey. But it's still a nice, pleasant album. The only thing is, the, the material they're doing is very different. It's kind of stuff you would hear maybe in a club, or s some of it's actually almost crooner material. I mean, you've got uh, things like Guantanamera, which is a standard, and you've got... Uh, Strangers in the Night, which obviously Frank Sinatra sung famously. Pretty Flamingo, which is a Man for the Man hit. They do a, a weird version of that. It's it, it's okay, but I mean, it's nothing really to write home about. But there are some nice album tracks. The Way You Look Tonight is, is probably one of my favourites. On a Wonderful Day Like Today is good. But to, to, for me, there's only really two standout tracks on the album. So, well, three standout tracks, really. And those are Girl on a Swing, which is definitely the best song on the LP. La 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 is also very good. And The Way You Look Tonight. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably my favourite track from the album that's not the single, because Girl on a Swing and La 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 were both singles. But I would say those three songs are the, are the only ones which I think are particularly good. And as you can see there, this was made in Canada. And this is the the Rainbow Capital label from Canada, which is nice. And down there it's got the word Canada in the perimeter text in brackets, because this album was released in 1966, and the in the perimeter text Canada was put in brackets in 1966, which is why the Beatles Revolver also has that. So there's their third album. Okay, so that's the albums over with. Now for the EPs and singles. Now there are quite a few of these, so I'll try and get through them a little bit quicker. So the first EP is Jerry and the Pacemakers, How Do You Do It? And this has their number one hit, How Do You, How Do, you do It? And the B-side, Away From You. And another song, which is a single, I Like It, which may have also been number one, I, th I think it was. And that's backed with It's Happened To Me. And they're four really good songs, to be honest, so this is a very, very good EP. Here's the back. Tells you the four members of Jerry and the Pacemakers. And just a nice write-up about them, written by Tony Barrow, who was the Beatles press officer for a while. And I believe he died only this year. And this is the Columbia label that it's on. This was released in 1963. And here's side two. So this was their first EP. And this is their next EP, Jerry and the Pacemakers. You'll not, it's, it, and this is off their first album, so it's got four songs from How Do You Like It? And it's got You'll Never Walk Alone, It's All Right, Chills, Shot of Rhythm and Blues. However, there is actually a mistake in that track listing, and that is with the track It's All Right. Now, this is the very first pressing of this EP. Now, on these first pressings, the song It's All Right was mistakenly printed as being on the EP, when in fact it's not. And if you look on the back, you can see that it's not, because it's got You'll Never Walk Alone 
Then it's got the song Jambalaya instead of It's Alright, then Chills and a shot of Vitamin Blues. But of course on the cover it says It's Alright. Being on it is on there when in fact that is not the case. And It's Alright was the B side to You'll Never Walk Alone. So I only I can only assume that that was originally going to be on the EP, although then at the last minute they decided to switch it out for one of the album tracks, but some of the sleeves had already been printed. I'm assuming that's the case, I don't know that for a fact. But here is the EP itself. Again on the black and blue Columbia label. Very nice EP. The tracks, and here is side two. Now this next EP is exactly the same, except this has got a corrected sleeve. So as you can see, the song Jambalaya has now been added to the front cover, and It's Alright has been removed. But apart from that, it's it's exactly the same. There's the, the record on the back. Now this next EP is called I'm The One, and that's of course because it has their single on, I'm The One. And it's also got, you've got what I like, which is the B-side to I'm the One. And then You Can't Fill Me and Don't You Ever are two more songs from How Do You Like It. And if you look on the, on the back, there it is. Again, another write-up from Tony Barrow. Very interesting information you get on the back of these EPs. And this is the label. Again, this came out in 1963, so still fairly early days for the during the pacemakers, really. And there's side two. Now this next EP probably has my favourite cover of all the during the pacemakers EPs. Don't let the sun catch you crying. One of their best songs, in my opinion. And there's the four tracks. You get the title track, Show Me That You Care, which is the B-side, and is fantastic as well. Summertime and Where Have You Been are, again, from How Do You Like It. In fact, to be honest, I think I think there's only a couple of songs from How Do You Like It, which you can't get on an EP somewhere. And there's the back of the EP. And here's the label for it. There we go. 1964 this one came out. During the face makers were still doing well for themselves. And this next EP is It's Gonna Be Alright. Which, if you remember, was from their Ferry Cross the Mersey soundtrack album. And it's got the title track, the B-side, and two more songs from How Do You Like It, Maybelline and You're The Reason. And here's the back. And this came out in the very back end of 1964, just two months before the album uh, Ferry Cross the Mersey was released. And this is also, of course, on the Columbia label. This is a slightly harder one to get, which is why this is, isn't in quite as good a condition as the others. And here's side two. Now these next few EPs are all very hard to get, so it took me quite a long time to get these ones. And the first of those is Jerry in California. And this is actually a live EP. And, of course, all four of these songs were recorded in uh, California. And it's just what rock and roll stuff, but it's very good. Dizzy Miss Lizzy, Away From You, which is the B-side to How Do You Do It. And then My Babe and What I'd Say. So four great tracks. Now, unfortunately, there is some writing on the back of this single. Uh, this EP, sorry. I think it's somebody's name. But, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. It's better than not having a copy at all. And this came out in February 1965. One of the one other thing I should point out actually is that, interestingly, on the sleeve, it says the first track is Dizzy Miss Lizzie. 
However, on the back, it's Skinny Lizzie. And on the single, it's also Skinny Lizzie. So, once again, um, there's been an error there. But here is the, the record anyway, from Columbia, from 1965. Now this one, I would say, is definitely the hardest EP to get. And it's hits from Ferry Cross the Mersey. So four songs from the soundtrack album. It's, got, it's going to be alright. I'll wait for you. Why or why and Ferry Cross the Mersey. All Jerry and the Pacemaker songs and all very good. And there's the back. As you can see, there's a there's an original sticker up there. But it's otherwise in pretty nice condition. And here's the label. Size one and two. And this is their last EP. Jerry and the Pacemakers, Rip It Up. Just some rock and roll tracks. Reeling and rocking. Whole lot of shaking going on. Rip It Up and You Win Again. And here's the back of the sleeve. For some reason, whoever owned this originally must have liked You Win Again or something. Or, well, anyway, just because there's a bit of pen under You Win Again there. And there's... What looks like a tick or something on the back next to you win again there. So obviously had some type of feeling towards that track. And it, uh, it it basically just tells you information about each of the four tracks on there for some reason. Goes into excessive detail. But you know, nothing wrong with something to read while you're listening to the record. Speaking of which, here is the single. This is side two here. Again, this one's uh, hard to find for some reason. At least in 65 there. And finally, I have the singles to show. So I'm just going to go straight into these. First one is How Do You Do It? Excellent song. Back with Away From You. Next up is a promo copy of I Like It, one of my favourite Jerry and the Pacemaker songs. Nice promo copy here, and that's backed with It's Happened To Me. And here is a regular single copy of that, I Like It, and It's Happened To Me. And the next one is... Probably their most famous single, You'll Never Walk Alone, from the Rogers Hammerstein uh, musical Carousel. And it's backed with It's Alright. And the next one is I'm the One, released in 1964, backed with You've Got What I Like. After that is Don't Let The Sun Catch You Crying. And that's backed with Show Me That You Care. And after that was It's Gonna Be Alright. And on the B side is It's Just Because. And this is a, a second copy of that. And after that is another of my favourites, Ferry Cross the Mersey, from the film of, same, of the same name. And that's got you, you, you on the B-side. And, and this is a duplicate copy of that one. And following that is a brilliant song, and this is a promotional copy. And it's I'll Be There, written by Bobby Darwin. And that's got Baby You're So Good To Me on the B-side from Ferry Cross the Mersey. Good song. 
and then this is just a regular single copy of I'll Be There. And there's the back. And a duplicate copy of that. And afterwards, this is a single called Walk Hand in Hand, which is slightly harder to find. It's it's not hard as to find, but it's harder. And this is 1965. It's nothing really special in terms of it being a commercial single, but I really like it. And that's Backwards Dreams. And after that is a promotional copy of the next single, La La La, which appeared on his American and Canadian third album, released in 1966, which was the year that saw the end of the Pacemakers, really. You know, it's amazing how many songs I know in the 60s called Without You. I can think of, I can think of at least three or four different ones off the top of my head. Last one's on the B-side to that, and here is a single copy of it. La la la. The song's a bit more interesting than the title suggests. And after that is a single called Girl on a Swing, which was also on their third LP. Very good. And Fool to Myself, which is an excellent B-side. That's also a slightly harder one to find. And this is just a, a duplicate copy of that. And this is just a copy of the Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying EP without a cover. So this is just like a plain copy, really. And this is a copy of the How Do You Do It EP without a cover. Again, just a plain copy. And this is a later pressing of Very Cross the Mersey. So it's just a, it's like a 73 issue, I think. And this is on like a, a blue Columbia label. And this is actually an American uh, German Pacemaker single on Laurie Records. And this is Girl on a Swing. And that's got a different B-side to the UK issue. This has The Way You Look Tonight on the B-side. And finally, this is a copy of the How Do You Do It EP. I think this is actually is an Indian or Brazilian copy. I'll, I'll have a look in a second. But this is a foreign copy. Now, rather than red on the front cover, it's got like a turquoise green colour. Oh, it's actually an Australian copy, sorry. This is an Australian version of this. As you can see down there. And the record is on a different looking label to the UK version. It's on a turquoise Columbia label, made in Australia, and there is side two. Okay, so that's my entire Jerry and the Pacemakers collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I'll be sure to do a Beatles video probably next week, and I hope you enjoyed seeing these, and I'll see you all next time.